guys and today the athletic released a mock draft not mock draft the 2020 nba redraft with kind of interesting i did one of the other day the complex released them so i want to go in and pretty much hop in here let me hear as we go your comments what do you guys think of these redrafts and hit that like and subscribe button to support the channel so let's get in timberwolves they say lamella ball and i get lamella ball is doing things that you don't typically see from teenagers and he has a great like he's pretty much averaging 16 6 and 6 i would still take anthony edwards i'm a timberwolves fan we already have d'angelo russell and we have ricky rubio so lamello ball wouldn't i don't think would have flourished also the coaching change we had from ryan saunders to chris finch i really think anthony edwards has been on this tear because of chris finch utilizing him correctly yeah if things really went the same way i think lamello ball wouldn't have started as hot under ryan saunders so again anthony edwards would still be a timberwolves pick in my opinion the golden state warriors now you could argue would they want to take lamello ball here and i think maybe but the fact that this team is potentially could be in the play in tournament they could take this year's draft alperin signoon or one of the other guys like usama uh usa usman garaba or from real madrid and in the late lottery and be fine and have drafted lamella ball here so i think no they don't drop james wiseman they take lamella ball the hornets take james wiseman they solve their center like whole deal put devon graham Devonte graham i don't know why i said devon Devonte graham at the point guard position shout out ku right now sitting in lawrence lawrence kansas and terry rozier will still be a shooting guard gordon hayward will still be the small forward you'd still have bridges you still have pj washington you have james wiseman being the center of the future and it fixed the center problem i agree right there with the hornets pat williams still goes to the bulls i have said this multiple times i really do believe that pat williams is the next player i mean first off og anobi i think is the next like defensive player to have a i think next year og og did i say oj og anobi is going to be the he's going to have be a 20 point per game score next year but i think pat williams is going to fall in that same vein as og anobi and Paul George and Kawhi Leonard as these guys who come in that they weren't super scorers in the college game but when they go into the NBA they they get really good defense and then their offense catches up and they become one of the be better two-way players in the league see that for Pat Williams so right here so I honestly look at this Tyrese Halburn to the Cavaliers over Isaac Okoro and when I sit here I'm like hmm the last mock draft i think i saw this is vaguely different than the last one i'm trying to remember i think they had sadiq bay yeah they had sadiq bay going to the cavaliers instead of tyrese halberd and then i sit here and i think yeah i don't think they need tyrese halberd darius garland's been great colin sexton pretty good and i think isaac kuro he's a great defender hasn't been amazing on offense Sadiq Bey, who I said was the second best defender in the draft last year. Actually, probably the third best defender because I had Paul Reed in front of him. But, you know, I still said Sadiq Bey was the 6'9 guy who could play power forward, small forward, and guard shooting guards. And could even probably guard some of the smaller ball fives. And still be one of the better offensive players who are a defensive first player. And I think right here in the Cavs, I would still put Sadiq Bay over Tyrese Halliburton because I think the Atlanta Hawks would then take Sadiq, not Sadiq Bay, Tyrese Halliburton instead of Onyeko Okongu. And I don't agree with this Isaiah Stewart. Do I think Isaiah Stewart's great? Yes, I think Isaiah Stewart's phenomenal. I love Isaiah Stewart. He is a guy who is 19 years old and finds a way to impact a game on a day and day basis. And he's shooting 40% from three, even though it's only 28 attempts per game. But he's a great modern day big man. And I still think the Hawks will be better if they add Tyrese Halliburton. Look at this. The team's doing fine right now. But Chris Dunn and Rajon Rondo, 
really were non factors this year. The two signings to be the backup point guard for Trey Young. They wouldn't have to have to sign either of them if they had drafted Tyrese Halburn. Boom. Now, if you're the Pistons, don't get me wrong. I love Alexi Poshevsky. Poshevsky? Is it Poshevsky? I, I used to say Poshevsky, but I heard Alexi Poshevsky. Something like that. Someone tell me how to say it correctly. So if I'm the Pistons, they drafted Jeremy, not drafted, they picked up Jeremy Grant, okay? And I love him, but wouldn't they just take Stewart right here at this point? Or really, they could take, yeah, I would just take Stewart, but I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm going to put him, they take Stewart right here instead of Poku, because they needed a big man. And so yeah, there. Then at eight, originally, they drafted Obi Top in the New York Knicks. And you think, would well, they just draft Emmanuel quickly here in the redraft? And that's what I would say. Screw Kelly and Hayes. Screw that. I don't even like Kelly and Hayes. I, I think Kelly and Hayes has a really high ceiling. I don't know. A really low ceiling, but a really high floor. While Theo Maldon has a lower floor, but a higher ceiling than Kelly and Hayes. So I put Emmanuel quickly for the Knicks. They draft him there. I do like the Wizards taking Oneko Okongu. But this... If they, they still got Daniel Daniel Gafford, I think Scott Brooks is a terrible coach and he wasn't utilizing Denny Advia, Advia, Ad, uh, Denny Avida, or why am I blowing? Advia, Avida, Denny Avdia. Yeah, Denny Avdia. Oh, I don't know why I was butchering that name right there. He misutilized him. He's a guy that I think is like a combination of Hito Terkelub and Lamar Odom, but in my opinion wasn't being used right he was coming off the bench and they were just using it as a catch and shoot guy to stand in the corner and not using it as a secondary playmaker like they should have probably just heard my dog so i like ukongu but they got daniel gafford and they got you know thomas bryan so when i sit here i think who who do i think you go kelly and hayes right here kelly and hayes even though he's had an injured year you need a point guard to back up like you need a future point guard to replace Russell Westbrook and you need a guy to if Bradley Beals won't stay in two years maybe like Kelly and Hayes and Bradley Beals the future backcourt the Phoenix Suns Jalen Sticks yeah you know Jalen Sticks Smith wasn't that great and you could say Devin Vassell has been a direct 3 and D guy I think right here honestly Onyeka Okonga go right here. The Suns needed a big man. A back, they need a backup big man to DeAndre Aiden. And Onyeka Okonga could slide down to the power forward position if he could like extend his game and become a really good three-point guy. So, yeah, I'm putting Onyeka Okonga for the Phoenix Suns. He spends this year backing up DeAndre Aiden. And eventually they hope that they could have a Aiden be the center and Okonga be the uh, power forward playing like, kind of like Paul Millsap or something. Devin Vassell stays there. I love Devin Vassell. Love Devin Vassell. I had Sadiq Bey right here to the Kings. I'm not Sadiq Bey. I had the Sadiq Bey going to the Cavs. So if anything, it's going to be J.D. McDaniels or I think Isaac Okoro. But in this case, I think Isaac Okoro because they just needed the they need defense. And I think Isaac Okoro would be the great defensive player they need. And they wouldn't worry about his shooting coming around, I think. Luke Walton is an alright development coach, so that's fine there. Then Desmond Bain to the Pelicans. I think they would really benefit from Jaden McDaniels. Jaden McDaniels being the Swiss Army knife that he is, he would definitely benefit from there. And I really agree with this one. 14, Paul Reed, one of the best defenders. Let's, I'll read what Hollinger has to say about this. Based on the early NBA production, I could easily take quickly here based on the draft. Really, Denny Avdia could be right there. So, Paul Reed or Denny Avdia, I know Brad Stevens would make Denny Avdia a star. A star. Oh, my God. Maybe they trade Kemba and Denny Avdia would be just literally Hito, Turkaloo, and Lamar Odom mixed together. Superstar for them. I really like that idea. I actually like that. So, either Paul Reed or Denny Avdia. Damn, yeah, that's really nice. But that's the end of the video. Let me hear what you guys thought. Put these out.